Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. This is Mike with Big Bake Posse. I am here today to do a review video for you. Once again, this is to review some fishing lures. Freshwater Fishing Hub reached out to me via email and asked me to review some of their lures for them. So I thought I'd do that. If you guys like what you're seeing, like these reviews, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. We appreciate the interaction. So the guys at Freshwater Fishing Hub sent me a variety of lures to try out. I've only had a chance to fish with two of the lures on the river. Um, a few of these lures are lake type lures that I've not had a chance to look at yet. First one we want to look at is a small plastic lure about three inches flat. Uh, it's got a hole in the back. I'm assuming you can run a treble out the back or hook it with a single worm hook through the front and sort of fish it like a fluke. It's really flexible, nice color. And it would be killer on walleye, pike, that type of fish. I haven't had a chance to try it in the river. Another lure they sent me was uh, a medium diving crankbait. I've not been on the lake yet. I've not had a chance to try this. This is a fire tiger color. Looks to me like it's probably gonna go down 10 to 12 feet. Nice treble hooks, nice hardware, nice split rings. I would say it'd be great for walleye fishing, pike fishing, probably bass fishing too, white bass, stripe, hybrid. They sent me a variety of these small paddle tail lures. Uh, they're about an inch and a half, two inches long. Be great for crappie, bream, small bass, white bass probably. Be good to use as a trailer on a little uh, fly. Two lures that I've had a chance to throw. They sent me a topwater frog. This is a hollow body, soft body frog, frog hook. The legs are plopper style legs. So as you reel this in or walk across the top of the water, the legs plop. Um, You'll see an upcoming video where I threw this. I did have a hit on this lure and uh, missed the fish. Uh, fish actually grabbed this lure as soon as it hit the water and took off running with it and I just didn't get a good hook set on him. But this is a really nice lure. Works really well. Sort of orients this way in the water. Um, but once you start reeling it in, the legs really plop across the top of the water. You'll see that in an upcoming video. Another lure they sent that I used on the river is what they call a lipless crankbait style lure. Now this is more to me a plopper type topwater lure. It's uh, very similar to other lures from companies that you'll see on the water. This is about a 75 size topwater plopper. Uh, it's really got good action, throws off big wake, nice hardware, very well built, nice split rings. Um, this is sort of a perch color. It worked really well in the river. Take a look at the few clips I made of these two lures in action on the river. On the river today, rainy day on the river, going to do a review of a couple of lures that uh, Freshwater Fishing Hub sent me little plopper type bait, rear plopper type bait. Uh, it's about two and a half, two and three quarter inches long probably. Uh, it's a little perch looking color. And then I've got a topwater frog. It's about uh, two and a half, two and three quarter inches long. Got a, two props for feet. A uh, nice set of hooks, soft bodied. I'm going to try those out here on this uh, Weedy River today. See how they work. There's the plopper style, style bait. Looks like it uh, makes a lot of noise for sure. Good action. Real good action. Not with that at all. Another thing, pretty heavy bait. Cast really good. Throws off a big wake, a big splash. Sure. Bait runs true. It's got nice two sets of trebles on it, very nice trebles. Painted nice. 
It's a good looking bait. It's heavy. It probably weighs about three quarters of an ounce. Half ounce to three quarters of an ounce, I guess. Got a nice tail on it to flop and plop. It's a good looking bait. bait I'm going to try is a little topwater frog from the same company. It's got a nice frog hook, a soft body frog. It's got two props for feet. We'll see how it does here in the river. Cast really well. Oh, gosh, there's one right off the bat. As you can see, those lures work really good on the river, had really good action on the river. Let's take a look at their website and social media. Let's take a look at their website here. You can find their website at www.freshwaterfishinghub.com. Website looks like it's well built. They have um, other sections of the website. Take you to other pages. Here's the one on the frenzy frog, which is what uh, I reviewed. Uh, I showed you a little bit earlier. Looks like they have it uh, on sale right now. Maybe weed free design. Sits at a 45 degree angle like I showed you. Pretty realistic looking uh, frog for sure. Have a review section. Looks like if you order today they have a couple of digital downloads for you also. Have a 90 day guarantee. Here is the other lure that I reviewed. They call it a Rage Ripper Lipless Crankbait. Uh, it's more of a top water prop bait to me, but it's a really nice lure. It makes a lot of noise uh, coming through the water. This page is well done also. Looks like they have reviews, uh, digital download. If you order this, 90 day guarantee. Here is our Facebook page. Just search for Freshwater Fishing Hub on Facebook. Had quite a few uh, This Day in History posts on their Facebook page. Make sure you check them out the website and make sure you check them out on Facebook. I think they also have WhatsApp. I'm not familiar with WhatsApp, so I did not um, take a look at that. Folks, I hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure you check out Freshwater Fishing Hub online at freshwaterfishinghub.com. 
You can also check them out on their WhatsApp, their Facebook page, and you can search for them on other social media links. I appreciate you watching this review. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you on the river.